Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am here with the Marguerite Miller week four collage challenge. So we are going to play with that and then after we get done with that, I'm going to do some random making out of my to-do box. Um, just something relaxing and lovely afterwards. So uh, let's say hi and hugs first to Valina, Sherry, Diane, and Red Parrot. Thank you for watching and for your kind comments. Okie dokie. Let's get doing this. I've already taken out my page. So this back page is my page that we're going to work on. I'll move the book. Okay, so let's see. So uh, our prompts this time, something fancy. And I'm using um, Dreams Etc. Her uh, Valentine Digital. This lady looked fancy to me. Then we have something that starts with an H. Well, I, ha I grabbed this kit because I knew there were hearts in it. So heart starts with H. Also hat starts with H. <laughs> so then part of a recipe, I have some of my recipe book here. A tree with fruit or blossoms. I have this cherry blossom napkin. Something torn. Really, the napkin or the paper could be that. And then something used in an office. I have this old um, uh, scheduler book. And that I did use a scheduler book in my office back in the day. So I picked my birthday, August 9th, 1961. Let's see. I would have been five. <laughs> Isn't that crazy to think? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get started. I thought I'd ink a few things. Um, I think I want to ink around the, just around the edge of the page a little bit. Since it's white, white, white. And this heart also, who knows, we maybe can put the, um, put that into this one too. Because I thought that was pretty cool that we needed something that starred with H. And there was the heart right on the page. So um, I do want to do, I want to ink these. Jen Bishop, her dreams, etc. She always does um, kind of the little outline around her fussy cut items. I love that because it gives me kind of a place to ink without getting too into the... Uh, image itself which I think is super nice so anyway that is her and then I'm gonna do a little bit on this heart there we go hope you're all having a good Wednesday so far I am. I've been having fun in my craft room. It's a snowy day outside. Snowy and cold. 18 degrees. Not super cold, but not warm. <laughs> so, okay. So there we go. Not that we wouldn't need that again, but we'll call that good for now. Okay. So really, it comes down to figuring out how I'm going to lay this out, mostly. So, I don't know. I really only want my date, so I feel like I can just maybe tear that off right here. And, and then I can use this one in something else. I'll set that over there. Um, I like the edge there. Although, I do think I want to ink it a little bit. Just to, it's it's blending into the page and I'd like that to stand out a little bit. Okay, and I'm okay with the other part not being inked. So, yeah, I like that better. Okay. So, I could put that there. I'm thinking I could put my prompts in there too. That's not particularly straight. I think that 
that's a little bit better. Okay, yeah, good. Now, uh, probably put, put the part of a recipe up here. I kind of want this to still show if possible. Mm -hmm. Let's just use the terror ruler on this. And maybe, maybe, I'm going to, I think I'm going to tear it off right here. Okay. And then I would like it to go down to about here. And over maybe about there okay so that can be put there there um, biscuit shortcake fun is that? I might put that like that. And then what? Something here of some sort. I was thinking some lace. I don't have any of my lace printed out right now. Um, what I was thinking is the digital lace. I don't think I have any. I don't think I have any. But let me look in my little container here. Got lots of joy, Liz. Oh, I've got, got this lace. It's too big. This lace, which is also too big, but I could use a piece of that, I think. It also works for fancy. <laughs> okay, let's see. Can I? Now, looks like I want to put this one down first. Where's my glue book? <sighs> I hope you all, like I said that already, that you're having a good day. Gosh, I'm having a good day. I've gotten a lot done in my craft room today. What I'm still struggling with, though, in terms of getting anything done with it is... My Etsy shop, I'm just, I don't know. I just kind of struggle listing stuff. <laughs> it's like, it just takes a lot of time. And I'd rather be creating than listing. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm, that's, I'm a work in progress with that, for sure. Okay, and then I'm going to put this down. I think I better get a new piece of paper. My glue seems to be a bit soft today. Good thing it's garbage day. I am overflowing in that department. Ooh, see what I mean? It's so, that's just a little thin piece of paper, and yet it grabbed my glue. Okay, well. Yikes. Okay, so there's that. Put my prompt on there. And then we have to figure out the napkin and 
the hearts, which I think will be easy enough. Okay, and then this is going to go right here, and it's definitely torn. Let's just emphasize that edge so it looks torn. Okay. And then I think I just want like a little, oops, this way. that okay I think I just want a little bit of this napkin going kind of gosh I could almost go the length okay well let's give that a try then over I don't think I want the birdie Excuse me, I know I've gone quiet. I'm quite qu concentrating, aren't I? Okay, so. And then everything else we need to see, we can kind of see. So, I'm just going to tear that off right there. Go like that with that. Okay. Let's see, I'm going to put the glue on here, so we'll see how we, we do with this. <laughs> Let's see. See how we do. I don't really want to cover up the August night. Did that on purpose. Okay, we'll just tear off. Okay. Okay, so then I'm thinking of putting my little lady maybe right about there. And then I have lots of hearts in my package here of ephemera. So try and put her right about there so I can kind of I can put hearts anywhere this would have been a good one for around Valentine's Day but I guess hearts are appropriate anytime aren't they Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to use different ones than I originally thought. But I guess those other ones are inked for another day, aren't they? Okay, now where did I have those? That one kind of there. This one kind of here. Yeah. to be able to see all that okay there you have it I think we did it something fancy starts with age part of a recipe tree with fruit or blossoms something torn and something used in an office boom week four is done how's that very exciting Okay, so we can set that aside, and yeah, okay, so there it is. That's week, week four, fun. Okay, now let us work on, oh goodness, let's work on some unfinished ephemera. We have so much, look at this fun tag. Hmm. You know what I have is on my table are these things. This um, this came from Mixed Media Minnesota's uh, February kit, and it's um, oh, it's transfer. It's not washi tapes. What? No, there's washi tapes too. Anyways, it's too big to put anywhere. So I was thinking of trying to use the washi tape, but maybe it's something different than I thought it was. Yeah, it's a it's a transfer something. Hmm. That's going to need further review. I'm not going to be able to use that today. i got to figure out what you do with it first. <laughs> okay, so that goes back on the table. Soak it in water and do this and that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, but I have this weird tag that was just brushing off some stuff and I was thinking black and white would be kind of fun on it so let's maybe we'll do the edges with black yeah so those things hadn't even made it to the to-do box yet so I do kind of like that effect. Uh, that was um, cleaning off the fan brush and it left that fun, fun mark. I know I have other black and white washi, so. I have a black and white book, like an art journal book and I haven't worked in it in a long time, so maybe, maybe this will be something that can go in there. Okay, I've got, I've got married people, lots of married people. They kind of make them look like they're in the middle of a tornado or something. Let's see this guy. Why do all the people, well, those people don't, but he looks so sad. But Tim holds people. They just look a bit sad. He's kind of more, um, his clothes are more brown. These guys are more black and white. What's this one? That's a little, little dude, little gentleman. Okay, let's put a piece of this washi on here. <sighs> 
feels good to now just kind of go, okay, let's do a little random crafting. Don't know, don't know how much or what I'll get done here, but we'll just, we'll just putter away at it, okay? Hope you're crafting along with me. Have me on your device or your TV or something in your craft room. I have a TV in my craft room because this used to be our family room. <laughs> and I have not watched it forever. I'm too busy doing videos. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. I'm going to kind of put one down the side closest. Here. Well, oh, I forgot to add this too. This um, this Tim Holtz tissue paper and um. I used it on another project, so I had some scrappies. Obviously, do not know kind of what I'm doing here. I'm just sticking some stuff down. Um, and then I kind of like... Where's my black? Still snowing at my house. My husband has done the shoveling twice today so far. He said he thinks he has one more that he's going to have to do. I do appreciate, though, that he does it when it's not so strenuous. You know, he does a couple inches at a time. And that's, that's probably a good thing. Okay. Thinking this needs a little bit of lace because maybe I'll just put lace on the we'll do that. Okay. This is this one's going to be done. About 2 seconds here. I think I'll use art glitter glue on my little Tim people. So we don't have anything really too exciting on the agenda. Just have had kind of a really low key week. There we go. Hmm, different, huh? The black and white. But it's good. It's fine. I like it. Let's do a little... There's a little bit of... A little bit of little bitty lace. Let's tie some of that up there. And we'll call this a done tag. And I might just go ahead and put it in my black and white fun little journal. There we go. Hmm. Okay. That one's done. <laughs> Let's see. What can we do in here? Um, I did this the other day. I'd like to maybe... Now they look cute right there, don't they? I just wanted to use these people because they fell out and they were right there. But 
but I feel like they need a little something there. Um, it's kind of a nice piece. Use something, something in back of it. Let's see. Just digging down to get my scraps here. But there's something. Where are these little scraps? I think these came from, I think they were from um, a retreat. And I threw my scraps in a little basket. I kind of, I really kind of need to integrate those into my other scraps so they're not. Okay, could we maybe go like that and like that and then maybe put a word right there I think we could put a word right there um Jolene at a jewel design is speaking to me Okay, these are up and downwards though. Yes, yes they are. Where's the rest of your words, Jolene? Um, what else could I do? Oh, look at this right on top. Pink Monarch, come what may. That's perfect for a little bride and groom. Who will be together come what may. Ooh, back fell off. Gonna have to glue that. Okay, so let's glue this down. Put that one first. This one. Ah. I am so sticky. I've done multiple videos today and <laughs> I'm a bit of a sticky mess right now. Okay, so there's that. And then you little people are gonna go right there so I want my glue to go about right there that didn't work <laughs> oh right about there oh my goodness I do kind of like having, since these people are so sturdy and everything, it's kind of fun to have them sticking up over a pocket, I think. I think that's kind of fun. Like that. And then the pocket is still the pocket. Okay, I'm going to put some art glitter glue on this too since the backing fell off. that right there yay okay that little pocket's done I mean we could put something up here but you're gonna have a tag or whatever in there so I don't really think one needs to so I'm gonna I'm gonna call that done what I do with my other done one oh it's over here okay oh gosh I have all kinds of time right? <laughs> I looked at it and thought, well, maybe it's an hour later. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, goodness, guys. I have so much in here, and I just don't know what it is I want to do with it. Let's see. Let's do that. I think my little guy, I'm trying to use up my people, I think this little guy would be awesome on here. He would indeed. So maybe we'll put him on there, and then maybe... What do you think? Um, do I need a little paper behind him, maybe? And I don't know, maybe a word there. Okay. Let's see. This is my Welsh book page that my friend Carrie the Crafter gave me. It's awesome. So I'm thinking about like having that kind of midway there like that. And then I could put a word down there. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. That. Okay, and then you go about right there. And then a word. Let's see if the, there's one of Jolene's. I don't know. Hers are more feminine, but Let's see vintage. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Jolene, at a jewel design. She has a lot of kits of words, and they do come in ever so handy. Okay, and we're gonna put some glue on him, and then this little side pocket tuck thing will be done. Sometimes I think it does help to limit the supplies that you're using. Like I wanted to use up what's on my desk and these little people were had fallen out were on my desk. And um, so I don't know. It's kind of helping just to have that Nope, he, he's out of <laughs> he's out of proportion, really out of proportion with that one. Okay, so that's done. Um, let's see, do we have something smaller for this other dude? Let me see here in the tags if if we do. Oh, look at this funny tag with that little dude on it. He's got his hand on his head. I'm totally doing that. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> I think I might like a little stamp or something up there. <laughs> yep. I'm just going to put that stamp on in him, and that one's done. <laughs> mm, that'll be fun. We go to use that, and we'll see that guy's hand on his head and go, oh, yeah, remember when that happened? Oh. I'll put 
this right about there. Okay. Oh. I must be getting rummy. I'm getting rummy. <laughs> so, no idea what we're going to watch on TV tonight. My husband's in charge of that, you know. Or he likes to think he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that cracks me up. Okay, that little tag's done. And it's a happy one. Oh, little doggy, what are we going to do with you, mister? Um, you know what? I wonder. Like on one of these little tucky things. Yeah. Okay, this is one of those little envelope tucks that, you know, just kind of goes like this. And then, and then, um, you can tuck something right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. I got tears in my eyes. I was giggling so much. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You have your hand on my head. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Yes, we could distress up Fido a little bit, too. Okay. So, Fido's going to go right there, but what else? Um... do could do a little word or something there's a little word on this paper that says awarded and we can pretend that this little puppy just won the Westminster dog show I'm going to do that. Okay. She's gone off the rails. She's got her weird sense of humor is hitting her ephemera. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. And now, little puppy. go. Okay. I'm going to call that done. Then if we had um, a certain journal, we could do like, like I have ephemera in here that, you know, it would be kind of fun to like put it on something too. I actually really like that. <laughs> I like the juxtaposition between the the fancy. This is from um, this, the same kit as we used in the collage, the Valentine's kit from Dreams, etc. I don't know. It just makes me happy, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> Plop it in the middle of that heart. And then we have a little bit bigger tuck space. Okay, that didn't need glue right there. Okay, well, there's a fun little different piece. 
Okay. Happy day. Let's see what else we have. We used up all our Timmy people. That's awesome. And we have like 20 minutes left. That's so fun. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? We've done tags. We did a pocket. This has no backing yet, but super plain. Let's see what we can play with with that. Um, I'm just going to back it real quick with a piece of coffee dyed paper. And this one I'll sew around. But we'll just see what there is that we could do with this one. Just like that. It's all, see how it's kind of flapping apart? It's a book page that's that's uh, folded in half and it's kind of letting loose, but that doesn't matter. We'll be sewing it. Okay. I might just put a little bit glue there just so that it stays put together while we're working on it. Makes it easier. Okay, so let's ink and think for a second. <clears throat> oh my gosh, you guys. Last night, my son called or we were texting back and forth and um, if you guys haven't seen the Gale's artwork line on my merch, oh my gosh, check it out. I am so excited. I cannot wait for the um, for the examples to come. Let's see. Just going to give that a little tone down there. Okay, well that is like a blank canvas, isn't it? Um, what would we like to do? I would like... I'd like to use some washi flowers because look at this. They are busting out of this thing. So let's use a big flower on that. If we have a big one. Is this a big one? See, and then they get goobered up and start to stick to each other, and that's not good. Oh, that's very pretty. Oh, I like it there. Okay, good, good, good. And then... Maybe would we like a butterfly? You know, I got these as well in the mixed medium Minnesota kit. And I was wondering about if there's a small one or the correct size of one that's just black and white. This. Ooh, isn't that striking? Yeah, let's use that. Okay, and then maybe a little label. Easy peasy. So this is like, it's like vellum, so you glue it on. So good to know. Um, and then... Do we want to use one of my labels or some other label is the question. I think I'd like it a little longer. I do like the, yeah, like that size is good. Do I have a red one of those? I have that red one. No. Gotta sort of pull them out. Let's 
see what we've got. It's kind of pretty with the colors in that. I obviously need some more this size red ones. I've used a lot of them apparently. Okay, well, that's fine. I do like that one. And then I'll put this on my sewing machine and get it sewn around. Okay, so let's peel you off. I'm going to hit this with my distress ink too, and it will, so it will blend in better. Oh. Shoot. There we go. Ah. So. Once you get those edges kind of blended in, it really just kind of disappears into the background. Now, I think our glitter glue should work on this because it dries clear. We shall see. Okay, that worked. Okay, journal card done. And deciding if I'd like to round the corners. I think I might just snip them all uh, Rachel Roxy creations. Okay. All right, so little journal card done. Got about 15 minutes. What else could we do? That would be something a little different, but we can do it in 10 minutes. this little pocket it's all inked and everything sewn around and this is one of the ones that has a pocket here and a pocket back here I was looking at this on my desk and wondering if we could rip that a little bit this side's ripped <laughs> I'm bad at getting just a little bit off, but we'll get there eventually. Okay. Loving the cut the purple here. I'm gonna try putting it on here. It might do better than 
the other way around. Okay. There we go there. I was looking at this down that way. give a shrug saying well we're using up things on our desk that's a good thing okay this is going to go here and I have no idea what's going to be the focal point <laughs> oh that reminds me I want to do a little bit of um, crafting out of this drawer so I'm gonna open it up and see what's in there if anything well that's fine but not too exciting to me all this stuff peas <laughs> oh. I feel like I need to, oh, oh, that's Easter. I need to either clear out this drawer or give it to friends or something. Look at this adorable thing. How cute would that be sitting there? I think I'm gonna keep that with it. And I, don't ask me where I got any of this stuff, guys. That was from, I was, cleaning out my ephemera and trying to get more organized and this is the basket of don't know where it came from don't know what to do with it kind of thing <laughs> okay well knowing that they're gonna go in there that's helpful this is not stuck down okay okay so what do we want um, over here could do a flower um, let's see if Deb from Artsology has anything flower wise I have a ton of her flowers birds too I was going to just see if there was something that was purplish. Well, there's that, but no. That's not too bad. I actually kind of like that, but I think I need to grunge it up a bit. Oh, okay. I'm going to do that. Yeah, once it's... Once it's grunged up, that's going to help. Okay, and then this just needs a little toning down. There we go. Okay, cool. So this pocket we got done and even have a little piece of ephemera in it. That worked out well. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay. Don't you love them? They'd be cute up here too. What else do we have in here? Do we have anything that could stick in the pocket? Ooh, Just these.
Don't want him to cover her up though. We don't have much time, do we? I'm almost wondering about Maybe having one behind like this. Bring that behind. And then making this into a little writing spot to go right there. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to finish this bad boy up. And these are thin paper, but they're just fine for journaling on. So... I'm not going to worry about backing them or anything. I'm just going to give them a little ink and then and then send them on their way. <laughs> send you on your way because the video will be done. Oh, well, thanks for crafting with me today, guys. Thanks for doing the collage. Got that done. We're officially a month in doing our Marguerite Miller challenge for this year. Can you believe it? I swear, time about flies so quickly. So, um, but it's all good. It's good to have it on the road. So we got quite a bit of ephemera done, quite a few, not, you know, not like a boatload or anything, but got, got some done and got the stuff off my desk and a couple things out of the to-do box. Okay, so that is just going to slip in there. Oh, super cute pocket. I want to use it right now. <laughs> so we finished that. Love that. Did a journal card. We did this little tuck thing. <laughs> we did this one. <laughs> and we did this cute little vintage guy. And then we did this pocket, this pocket there. So this one's out of Tim Holtz packaging is how we how I made that one. Okay, guys, so that's it. Here's our collage. It was a good day's work. So thanks so much for crafting with me. I hope you have a grateful day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.